Hi, I'm Doug, and I just want to talk a bit today about a universal motor design that I've been working on, which is uh, 3D printed. And uh, what my original intention was was, was to make a uh, rotor and a stator that you could mount all kinds of different parts on, and it was just kind of like a blank slate with lots of holes so that you could mount things in different positions and try out different arrangements. So um, this is a design that I've come up with. It basically has 20 positions on the rotor and on the stator and I've used um, specific uh, screw sizes for the holes so that, uh, just to make it easier to mount things. So I've used 632 uh, threads here on this uh, rotor plate and I've used a quarter 20 threaded holes here for the, um, the stator. So uh, this tr looks like a pretty good uh, design in terms of being able to try out different things and uh, I've gone with uh, a lot of different 3D printed uh, magnet holders, for example. Uh, these are different, different holders for different size uh, neodymium magnets. Uh, I've got the uh, stator pieces that I've tried out so I can mount different kinds of coils. And these are a few different coils that I designed to try out with this system. And um, I've also been using uh, reed switch actuation quite a bit. So this is a reed switch actuator mount, which I've just designed here. So the final design that I've gone with is actually this one which I've got shown right here. I'll just turn that a little bit. Maybe try to zoom in a little bit. So um, this rotor design uh, is, is pretty much the same as this one though it's got a, uh, a 608 bearing on it uh, just to make the action a little smoother and it's got the same 20 position placement around the rotor and I've uh, put uh, four different neodymium magnets uh, in position here using the 632 screws and then I've uh, got a reed switch uh, a controller right here that I've constructed uh, that like I put some like wire holders on for easy attachment I've also got this um, uh, electromagnet. Uh, this is actually a bifiler wound electromagnet since this particular design is like an Adams Bedini type of magnetic reed switch motor. So it's going to actuate basically using the magnetic reed switch. It's going to trigger and energize this coil. And then we've, so we've got a trigger coil and we've got the generator coil which is going to take an output signal. Uh, as the magnets go by. So this will demonstrate a lot of the different effects that you see with these Adams motors and Bedini motors, magnetic reed switch motors. And it's designed to rotate at about 200 RPM on a fairly low voltage. In this case I'm using uh, 4.5 volts. So we'll just get this going. I've even put a switch here on this just to get it to uh, start easily. And you got to give it a bit of a, a push to get going. And that speeds up. And it'll get up to around 200 RPM at 4.5 volts. And if you just look now at the oscilloscope, we can actually see the signals coming off of the different uh, um, trigger coil and uh, on the uh, generator coil. We'll just try and zoom in on that a bit. So you can see we've got our uh, uh, generator or our trigger coil, which is producing these this square wave signal, and you can see there's spikes being generated on the square waves as they go around. Uh, we've also got the uh, generator coil here on the bottom, which is uh, putting out uh, more of an AC waveform, but it has these very powerful spikes, and they actually go up uh, several hundred volts, sometimes as high as 400 volts, uh, as each magnet goes by, and this is probably because the uh, magnetic field of the coil collapses every time the reed switch opens and that makes a big discharge into the uh, the generator coil. And this may be uh, the effect that a lot of people have been talking about in terms of um, improving the battery capacity. Uh, this uh, pulsing probably has an effect on improving the battery capacity when this is used as a battery charger. So um, I think this has uh, successfully shown a lot of the different effects that you can see with the Adams and Bedini motors. And I'm going to uh, probably try and put this up on the, uh, the web store at skyhunt.net if anybody wants to try building it. So we'll have it available as a kit.